Hello chess lovers, Surin here and I have another insane chess puzzle for you. This puzzle was composed by Paul Lamfort, first published in 1981. White to move and win the game, you can post the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Well, I know this sounds crazy because white has so many extra pieces only two bishops are absent, but because of the fact that the position is completely locked up, this is going to be very hard to break through and realize the advantage. That's why in order to win the game, white comes up with a brilliant idea. White should first bring his rooks on the queen side, consolidate his position, and then at an appropriate moment play queen a2, threatening queen takes b3, thus forcing black to accept the sacrifice, allowing the pawn promotion, trap the queen and then push forward the b pawn. Now let's see all this in action. Of course right now if you sacrifice the queen this won't work because in that case black can easily win the game. Black is bringing his queen on b3 square and then is checkmating white king. That's why it's very important to bring the rooks on the queen side especially on c2 square and prevent any queen a2 moves. Let's see how it goes. White is playing king d1, king b6, king e1. Meanwhile black is making random moves. Rook g2, king b6. Of course black will never accept the rook sacrifice because white is managing to open up the h file and this is simply over. White is winning. That's why black is just making random waiting moves with his king. King f2, white king is freeing the e1 square for the rook and is managing to bring his rook on the queen side. Now it's high time for the second rook to come. King e1, meanwhile black is making random moves and then king d1 and rook e1. King b6, now comes rook c2. King b5, still black is not capturing on c2 because in that case white can open up the position. King b5, king c1, king b6 and here we go, white is sacrificing his queen, queen a2. Finally white is ready to break into pieces this mighty Chinese wall. B takes a2. Already black is forced to accept the queen sacrifice, otherwise if a move like king b5 then white can capture on b3 and then play a4 check and this is simply over. The knight is jumping into the game and white can easily win the game. That's why black is capturing on a2. Here comes b4 allowing black to promote the pawn to a queen. By the way, if a move like a takes b3, then white can capture on a2 and then king b2, pick up this pawn and again this is going to be winning. Or after b4, if a move like d takes c2, then white has this king b2 move. Now can you understand the whole idea of bringing the second rook on e1 square? Already in this variation white is not allowing black to win the game by capturing on b1 because white can recapture and then after king takes b1, king b5, simply d4, this knight is managing to jump into the game and white is winning. That's why after b4 black is promoting the pawn to a queen. Now comes rook b2. Though black managed to promote the pawn to a queen but right now the queen is trapped and there is not much black queen can do. King b5, black king is blocking the pawn's path and a waiting move rook d1, placing black in a position of Tsuk forcing black king to move away from b5 square and the b pawn marches forward. King b6, another waiting move rook e1 and again the b pawn marches forward and finally white is managing to promote his pawn to a queen and this is going to be winning. Black King can easily get checkmated in a few more moves. A very beautiful chess puzzle, I think. This looks very similar to Otto Blath's Chinese Wall, which I have published earlier. I will pin the link of that video in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you and for more puzzles. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.